The brain isn't an archive. It's more like a lazy archivist who keeps mixing up folders and occasionally adds some details of his own. We love to think we remember everything clearly. It was raining that day, I was wearing a blue jacket, and I said exactly this. But once you check with others who were there. It turns out there was no rain, the jacket was red. And what you actually said was completely different, and probably louder than you'd like to admit. Our memories are like a TV series we keep re-watching, but with new scenes every time. Sometimes the brain cuts out the awkward parts, and sometimes it adds extra drama. To make the story sound more epic. Why does this happen? Because memory isn't a recording, it's a reconstruction. Every time we recall something, the brain rebuilds the event from scratch. And the more we recall it, the more we distort it. There's even a phenomenon called false memory. People become convinced they saw, heard, or experienced something. That never actually happened. And the funniest part? The brain doesn't do it out of malice. It does it with the best intentions. It just likes when everything makes sense. That's how the Mandela effect works. When entire groups of people share the same false memory, like thinking Pikachu had a black tip on his tail, or that Darth Vader said, Luke, I am your father, when in reality, he said something else entirely. So, our brain is like an editor, who sometimes thinks, hmm, this scene could use a bit more epicness, and some drama, for depth. And we believe it, because it's comfortable. It feels calmer. More interesting. More, familiar.